Hi and welcome to our lesson on telling the time. We will be looking at intervals of five minutes to the hour. This hand is the minute hand and this shorter hand is the hour hand. We think of the first half of the clock as minutes past the hour and we think of the second half of the clock as minutes to the next hour. In this lesson we will be looking at minutes to the next hour. The minute hand tells us how many minutes have passed. At 12, zero minutes have passed. We can also think of it as how many minutes need to pass until we reach the next hour. At this point, it is one minute to the next hour. Here, it is two minutes to, three minutes to, four minutes to, five minutes to. So at 11, the minute hand is five minutes to the next hour. We can continue to count anti-clockwise in fives to find out how many minutes to the next hour. So this is five to, 10 to, 15 minutes to, we call this quarter to, this is 22, 25 to. When we get to 30 minutes to, this is the same as half past. We don't refer to this as two. This counts as past. So apart from 12, which is zero minutes, and six, which is 30 minutes past or half past, all of these numbers are minutes to the next hour. We'll look at an example starting at one o'clock. The minute hand moves around to 11. This is five minutes to the next hour. So we can say that it's five to. The hour hand has almost reached the next hour. The next hour is two. So the time is five to two. This time we'll start at seven o'clock. From here, the minute hand moves around to 10. This is five, 10, 10 minutes to the next hour. So it's 10 to. The hour hand is moving towards eight. So it is 10 minutes until eight o'clock. We say that it's 10 to eight. Finally, we'll start at 10 o'clock. From here, the minute hand moves around to seven. This is five, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 minutes until the next hour. So it's 25 to. The hour hand is moving towards 11. So the time is 25 to 11. Here are some questions for you to try. Write down the time shown. Pause the video now and have a go. Question one. The minute hand is pointing to 10. Counting back in fives from 12, this is 10 minutes to, so 10 to. The hour hand is moving towards three. So the time is 10 to three. Question two. The minute hand is pointing to 11. So this is five to. The hour hand is moving towards 11. So the time is five to 11. Question three. The minute hand is pointing to eight. If we count in fives anti-clockwise, we find that this is 22. The hour hand is moving towards six. So the time is 20 to six. Question four. The minute hand is pointing to seven. This is 25 minutes to. The hour hand is moving towards nine. 
so the time is 25 to 9. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.